gave you a guilt free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you use it? Yes. Smash Drake. He know. He know who I'm smashing. Yeah, I'm gonna go smash Drake. Why Drake? Um, just because I think that he's sexy and I like his music. Yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing more, nothing less. He looks good and his music is fire. Like he's a he's an idol. Like he's an idol. Bro, saying that in front of your man is crazy. Like, you know how uncomfortable he probably feel? I know if that was me, I'd die inside. Bitch, what you mean, Drake? I'm playing. I'm playing. I don't hit women. But I'm just saying, in my mind, this is what would be going on. Okay, before y'all. Oh, Overdose Lad is an abuser. No. No. Yeah. He's somebody worth smashing. I'm an idol too. Okay. He's worth smashing. You're, you're my idol. Alright, All right, yeah. Right, right, oh! What if she gave you a guilt She killed pass? his ass just I'm now. I'm a guilt free pass, but I use it. He tr he's trying to act like he don't have somebody in mind, but I feel like he does. If the guilt, if the guilt nah, free he got pass respect. meant that I was about to get a million, I'd use it. But I'm not thirsty to go smash any other women. All right. Like she's thirsty to go smash her. I'm not thirsty. He asked me a question and I answered it. Oh, okay. That's it. She gave you a guilt free. Yo. You gotta use your common sense, man. Um. Right? We all know that our women have dudes that they fantasize about. Like, I know for sure that my wife be fantasizing about Idris album. It's crazy to say that out loud, but let's be honest, bro. But the fact that she came out and said that shit on camera, come on, bro. Certain shit you just gotta keep to yourself. Certain things I just meant to, I'm gonna keep that to myself, even though. How much does a guy have to make? Oh, well, I want to say at least 100K a year. A year? A year. Something, you know what I'm saying? I mean, okay, what you trying to say? Like, a month? Yeah, yeah. How, much, how much a guy gotta make to be with you? Oh. <sighs> Let's just put it at 100k a year, you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. like a hard-working man, you know what I'm saying? What if he living with his mom? Oh, no. Uh, uh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. What's your living situation? I live by myself. Okay, okay, okay. See you up there. What if he asks if he can live with you? Um, it depends on if he pay all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Well, you gotta pay all that rent? I mean, if he's trying to stay, of course. Of course? Yes! If I want to stay with you, bitch, he better pay them bills. You gotta pay for them bills, pay for dates too, and all that? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. They gonna want food on the table, right? Do you believe in 50 50? It depends. It really depends. That don't sound like 50 50. That was like, all right, let me take care of you. So ever yeah. since then. <laughs> hey, I don't think I hey let me know what she is. she valid in the comments? I ain't gonna lie. She got some nice thighs, nice hips, and all that. But, um, what else you bringing to the table, sister? I know ladies hate when, when dudes ask that question. If her name is on the lease, the least you can do is pay them bills. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be quite honest with you. If her name is on the lease, the you could the least you can do is pay them bills. Now, what I would say is that you should put yourself in a situation where you're on the lease and you're paying all the bills. You're the man of the house. And she take care of whatever else she gotta take care of. This is just my my, my personal opinion. Why is it that, like, as soon as I get in a relationship with you, you just automatically become a bum? I don't have no objection to paying bills. Like, I pay the bills in my house. And I feel as though as a man, you're supposed to take care of certain things. But what are you going to be doing with your money? That's what I want to know. Like, if I'm paying all the bills, what are you going to be doing with your money? Because the way these bitches be talking is like, you paying my car note, my car insurance, the rent. Your car note, your car insurance, the groceries. So what you gonna be doing with your money? I know in my in my household the situation is different. My wife take care of her personal stuff. I pay all the household bills. I feel as though that's normal. Somebody tell me if that's not normal. If that's not normal, then let me know. Am I bumming it? Cause I just personally feel that like if I'm paying every single thing, including your personal bills, you a bum. Like why am I with you then? What do you what do you what value you adding to me? Cause I can go get pussy from someplace else. What the f
What the fuck? What? take for you to cheat on the love of your life i i don't know i i love my man ride or die like i don't think i don't think i could do it for any amount like so let's say this guy can do 50 million i don't care I don't, I don't care she I don't, don't care but I, just, honestly my man would tell me to cheat on him and take the money i would like way highball it like 250 billion and then we could both be like 250 <laughs> billion <laughs> How much money would it take? Wait a minute. 200. Come on now, sis. 250 billion. <laughs> My husband and I have been married for five years and we have three children together. The last three years have been a nightmare. We argue all the time. We're not affectionate. As a result, I found myself getting closer to a co-worker. Mm -hmm. A coworker. Right, yo, it know. wasn't on purpose. He fills a void that I have in my marriage. We haven't been physical, but the emotional connection is so strong. You think I'm on the verge good. of leaving my marriage so I can start over with my coworker. What should I do? Oh Lord. Mm. Of course, things are going well with your coworker because y'all don't have the same complexities. Y'all not trying to build a life together. Y'all not trying to run a house together. Y'all are not trying to raise kids together. So he doesn't have the same responsibilities to you as your husband. So don't allow that to fool you to thinking that if y'all are around each other all day like you and your husband are, that it's going to be the same energy. Understand that only 11% of affairs actually turn into relationships. And of those 11% of people who end up getting in a relationship and getting married, 75% of those marriages end in divorce. You're looking from the situation like, oh, it's so great, and he listens to me, and he validates me, and we have a great time together, and it may feel good to you right now because you are you have a void, and you're not receiving it from your husband, but that's all it is. Right. It's the feeling. The facts are, it's not going to be what you're thinking it's going to be in the long run. My husband and I have been married. Let me tell y'all something, man. The work husband is a liar. Whatever's going on in your household, he has time to sit there and listen to you vent. And now he knows all the right things to say. If shit going bad in the house, of course, any little thing the work husband do is just going to seem so much more better. Oh my God, he's so funny. No, he's not funny. He's not that funny. You just stressed. Cause best believe this, right? I want I want I want you to think about it this way. How you feeling about your your husband in the house? Your work husband might have a woman at home that feel the same way about his ass. But he come to work and he charming the shit out of you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh, random person do that to me in Publix, Walmart. This look like Walmart behavior. Anyway, uh, I'm punching her. her I don't listen. I'm gonna be quite honest with you now. He said spirits don't move me, but shit, I'll be moved. Why well, y'all think I burn this motherfucker? I I would be moved. I'd be moved to hit your ass with a chair. You feel me? That's the weapon of choice these days, man. 
And hit your ass with that goddamn extended lawn chair. Bow! When the police come up, I thought I seen a ghost. To be with me, I, I should never... I feel like it should be so easy to be with somebody. And I don't need to be asked questions 24-7. Like, where you at? What are you doing? Like, you should... I think it's sexy when a man is too busy to talk to me. Why are you speak? Why do you want to call me 24-7? Why are you texting me 24-7? Translating. I have finished translation. I am a young female that desires to be single, but also wants the benefits of being in a relationship. However, I want to be treated as if I'm not really a girlfriend, so that I may participate in single girl behavior. Using the excuse of your insecure as a shaming tactic to keep my man from truly thinking this is a traditional relationship. This will ensure his subservience to my actions, and it will allow for me to do whatever I want, while still benefiting from a consistent male's attention. You got her boyfriend number? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Man, what? I don't know why you got his number. His name in my phone is Dave Broski. It's Dave Broski. Yeah, so call Broski and you know what I'm saying? And see if he really going to... Bro, I already you know some, no. some wild right, so stuff finna happen. Hello? Yo, hello? Yeah, how you doing? You know who this is, right? Yeah, who this is. Hold on. That that how you doing sound a little uh it sound a little, you know, how you doing? It's it sound uh, that's her boyfriend? Huh. Stop playing with me, boy. Um, what you doing tonight? Uh DJ for real. You ain't doing shit. You trying to Netflix and chill? Yeah, that's fine. You know what? We can go to your spot. We can go to your spot. Alright, cop. Yo, this your boyfriend agreeing to link your brother and chill with him. I'm, I'm baffled right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm flabbergasted. What the f***? What the f***? That's crazy. Nah, that's just crazy. I'm about to call him right now. Like, what the f***? Well, you had something going on with him before? Um, very much. My boy said, um. Cause this is crazy. There's no way he's taking it in the right now. Like, are y'all just chilling? Like, what's going on? Y'all just fing, y'all chilling? What, what's going on? Yeah. You got her boyfriend number? Yeah. Keep it on the down low. Ain't nobody got to know. Oh my god, the things I see on the internet. Um I don't even got no comment for this one, bro. It's just At this point, bro, I'm not surprised. I've I've been doing these videos now for what, about six months? I am not surprised. At all. <laughs> 